Hello, welcome to another episode of What's Up with Wendy's podcast. This is part three of my sit down with Kelly Rutherford from The Gossip Girl. I'm with actress Kelly Rutherford, who has taken her battle with her two children to the White House. A petition has been filed with WhiteHouse.gov seeking a federal order to allow her two young children, who were ordered by a judge to live in France with her estranged husband, to move back to the U.S. We encourage everybody to please get on there and sign the petition. We need these signatures as of May 28th. Right, Kelly? Yes, thank you. Please get on there and sign. It takes a second, literally a second out of your time. We know that people are signing on now because I see that it's rising, but please, please get on and sign this petition. Um, What's the greatest lesson learned out of all this? You know, I I think, you know, I always thought of myself as someone who valued the the, the most important things in life, you know, and and even though I worked hard and, and, you know, I certainly had nice things in my life, but I, I think that what I've learned is that people can take a lot of things away from you or you can lose things, you know, things, but that the most important thing really is, are the people you love? I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but, you know, and I think the other thing is that you know, sometimes we we all feel like a victim in our lives of many different things for many different reasons. And and I think the minute you become an activist and you get out there and you start talking about it and you do your best, whatever that is, to make a difference, it helps. I know starting, you know, the Children's Justice Campaign has helped me and it's connected me with other people who may not be going through exactly what I'm going through, but we can help each other and support each other and, and work on, on solutions. And, and, I and think mo- that moving forward and doing is making you, is giving you, uh, you know, more of a reason and making you stronger and keeping you strong. Yeah. I remember seeing Gloria Steinman speak and she said, you know, we, we stop being a victim the minute we become an activist. And it's true. It gives oh, you, wow. it gives you purpose when you get up. I mean, my kids say to me, mommy, are you still fighting for us? And I said, yes, and on so many levels, you know. So we're not only, you know, hopefully not only will we, you know, be together and, and have this, this turned around, but hopefully my kids can, you know, as they get older, look back and say, oh, my gosh, you know, we went through that, but look what mom did. Like, we're helping other kids, and maybe they'll get involved in, in helping other kids as they get older because of what they went through. And that's how you – that's how you change things. That's how you transform situations. So I think that's what keeps me going through all of this and, and to be able to tell the kids a little bit about it. And, you know, it's, that's what keeps us going. I think the kids, what keeps my kids going is knowing that I'm still fighting for them. So they go and they think, Oh, we still have a warrior on our side. You know, our mommy is still, she hasn't given up. She's not giving up on us. And I think that gives them enormous amount of hope and, it gives them strength, and it gives me enormous amount of strength to say, you know what, if if we're going through this because we're giving this this epidemic almost in our society, and and what you know what we're, we're all dealing with, because a lot of people go through divorce, you know, if we're giving this a voice and and raising awareness around this in some way, then that's good, you know. Um, and, and I, I certainly appreciate all of this incredible support for the petition and the support that I've gotten um, as a mom. And I, you know, I'm very, very thankful for that. It, it, it touches my heart every day. And I, I, I'm just so thankful every day, really, for, for the support that I'm, I'm getting because I don't know what I would do, you know, I, um, without I, it. And I can't we imagine. All need that, yeah, you know? I can't imagine. I just want you to bring your babies home. Oh, I just want this so to, I just want this. I mean, I think that, that, you know, you, you, you're doing everything above and beyond and it's going to, it's going to turn around. I mean, there, there is going to, there is going to be a light and someone's going to see it and you're going to make a difference. And this, then we'll know the reason why all this happened. Yeah. Um, and it won't give you back the years that you missed, but it will, it will, you know, hopefully we'll make up for that over and over and over and over again. Exactly. Because exactly. your heart, I mean, th- this is your driving force is, is to get them back as fast as possible. So I, I, yeah. I the, the courage, because some people could curl up and go into a ball and, you know. 
I do that too. <laughs> when people don't know, they don't know, right? We all do We just have to dance in the storm, happen. keep dancing in yep. this storm until we, uh, I, I'm sure yeah. there's many moments and days and, and nights and everything that it's, it's painful probably all the time. But you know, you know, Wendy, we, we, you know, we realize it's the little things that, that um, get us through and it's other people and our connectedness with, with, so with, we're all connected, you know, and that's what we need to realize. Um, so. And it's yeah. your heart, you know, your heart is, yeah. uh, and my, what you said is true because you can strip us of everything. Take of take us everything. Just, just, you know, the love, mm-hmm. you can't take that. You can't take the love. Right. That's right. And, um, uh, that they can't take away. So love you have in your heart and you got to stay positive and keep going and be around like-minded people that support you and are positive and, and realize there are people that have it a lot worse and, and do your best to support and help those people because it makes you feel better and it, that you can do something, right? I mean, I think it makes us feel good that we can do something, that we're being effective. And I think about that every day. I mean, I go to events for, for children's organizations and, and, things because I want to bring awareness around it. I think children are so important and we need to really honor children, honor their rights, their well-being in our society, um, and give them a voice. And and those that feel that way need to get out there and and take action. So um, I do that in every way I can. Um, You know, that's sort of what my social life has become, I should say, you know, is really getting out there and, and and doing that because um, you know we need to. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm gonna. Fi- I'm gonna. To. I'm gonna continue to fight. I- I'm gonna start crying now because I, like I said from the very beginning, I've been following your story. I feel honored to have spent this hour with you and hear your story and, and get it out there to our listeners. And I encourage everyone to sign this petition. And we're gonna keep rooting for you and cheering for you. And um, when you get your babies back, come back and um, and we'll reunite. We'll reunite then. Exactly. And anything I can do exactly. to help you, Kelly, please. Wendy, thank you so much. This this is huge, and I so appreciate it. I mean, this petition is super important, and I'm so thankful. So, so, so thank you for taking the time to talk to me about this. Well, you're adored by millions, mm-hmm. um, and e- and even more so for your fight and your courage. So, okay, sign the petition. Go on WhiteHouse.gov. I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to Facebook it. Go on and sign. Help Kelly bring her children back and and fight for this and. We're going to get the babies back to you. We will. I promise. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Thanks for listening to my podcast. You can check out my new website at whatsupwithwendy.com. Subscribe and check out past interviews. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at whatsupwithwendy. Thanks for tuning in.